I got, this is how I get both of the boys to the car at once. You got to pet your dog, that's right. He's such a good dog. Yes, he is. Good boy. Good job, Henry. Good job. And, um, yeah, I was, uh, this is my day. I was supposed to open today and work a long day, but, um, I don't, <laughs> I have a nurse, apparently, for Daniel today, again, so, um, can't go to school without a nurse, um, and, <laughs> I'm trying not to get frustrated. I'm trying not to get frustrated, but my whole day has been turned upside down. Um, I'm sure he doesn't mind. Here he is. He's watching his iPad in his bed. He picked little Einsteins. You want us to watch that? You can watch whatever you want, and that's what you pick. So this has been an incredibly stressful morning, but. I'm okay. Um, I was supposed to be here in the office to open, and I don't have a nurse, so um, I got my act together and got my friend ready, and here he is in the insurance office with me, watching little Einsteins um, while I check the messages and keep things going for a little while. It's hard to tell you. You know, this is the problem. I'm upside down and backwards again so it's really challenging when you have responsibilities and then you have as long as Daniel's gonna relax and sit here I will check messages and when he gets upset I'm gonna have to leave and, and you know it's less money <laughs> more frustration um, and I have more work piling up because I'm here's Daniel at mommy's work watching it's over there because if I give him the iPad, he touches it like crazy and he always turns off his show. <laughs> well, I've been here for three hours, so i got to get out of here because Daniel's going to need to go have his diaper change. It's a good opportunity for me to have those two be together. I should put his vest on, but he's got such fluffy fur, he might get hot. Okay, I think we made it for about an hour. Now he's getting fussy, but... We're gonna head out. I'm gonna take some more home to do at home. I'll do the best I can there. I do. I'm gonna try. Um, Henry, you are a perfect comfort dog, companion dog. And you will be a wonderful therapy dog. Look at him. He was up on Daniel's lap, but... He just got off. But he's always right nearby. You taking care of Daniel? They travel as a team. Every once in a while you need a nice, beautiful, beautiful candle that was a gift from a friend named Steph and gives you relaxation at the same time. So, you know, one of the biggest challenges and caring for a special needs child is the inconsistency of schedule. <laughs> so I think it happens to everybody who has to deal with this stuff. You just don't know when you're going to have a seizure or when you're going to get sick or when you're going to have a meltdown or when your helpers changing. You know, if they leave, they take new jobs or things happen and they can't come in. And it's just the way it is, you know. So it's very difficult the way it goes. So today, um, I took Daniel to work for a couple hours. And Henry. <laughs> I actually had to, to make a phone call or two and he was very good. And then he um, 
just about the time I was loading him in the van and then he was having a meltdown and now he's almost asleep in there just snuggled up in his bed and he's okay for those of you who think why are you outside and he's in his bed his bed has safety rails that close up and now dog has to pee and poop so I take a walk around the house anyhow that's what's going on I'm gonna go inside and I have a bunch of bills to do. He's fascinated by everything outside. Look at he's in hunting pose. Look at this. The nose out, the hand up, the paw up. That was beautiful, Henry. That was so professional. Are you a hunting dog? Wow, that's awesome. That sniffer's gone. The chipmunks that live around here. Where's the chipmunks? Come on, honey. Come on, no. So giant meltdown, two giant poops. I'm sweating it was so hard work. And look at him. Now he's asleep. So I'm gonna relax finally. Finally, gonna sit. I wish yeah. you could smell this thing. It is the best lavender. It smells so pretty. Okay, thank you, Steph. I'm using this to relax on a day that has been very stressful. <sighs> What's up, rascally rabbit? You kind of sleepy? You were taking a nap. I'm glad you're awake because we have to go pick up your brother at school. I'm gonna go for another ride. He likes it when he's with me because we're very active. We're very here, there, and everywhere. Okay. Feeding pump. Okay, Henry, you want to come too? We're going to go pick up Thomas. Okay, I think Henry was sleeping too. He got really quiet. Okay, day in the life. This is what I do. This is what I do. Got to change a diaper, put some pants on the boy, put him in his chair, fix up his pump, get him in the van, and head out. Okay. This is how I get both of the boys to the car at once. I'm going to pet your dog, that's right. He's such a good dog. Yes, he is. Good boy. Good job, Henry. Good job. What a good boy. What a good boy to Daniel. Huh? Okay, let's get you down. I don't want you to scratch his leg. Come here. All right. Nice job. You stay up there so nice. Working uh, uh. ah! dog. He's not happy. He's like, get the hell off me. You don't want to twerk, Henry? Okay, we're home again. He's not happy. Oh, is he coming back to me? Oh, you hold him. Yeah, so look at my table. It's like. All stuff I'm working on at once. Um, they finally came. I just, oh, I just unboxed it. This is um, what I use for Henry. I had to order it from Amazon because it's cheaper, but it took a while. It was back ordered. And then I couldn't find it at Petco either. But it's the Soresto um, Tick and Flea Prevention. And um, it, it works really good for Henry. I mean, I put it on last year and he had none. No ticks, no fleas. Um, but so Supposedly it travels and it radiates throughout the dog's fur and the top layer of skin rather than soaking into his body. Um, so that just sounded friendlier to me. So, And he doesn't mind wearing a collar. And he's a little guy. He looks like he's bigger right now because he has four months of growth. This is four months of growth. He's very, very fluffy. Um, but when they cut him on Friday, you'll see. He's. I would let him grow long, but it's just so hard and he's black and it gets hot in the summer. So we're going to give him a puppy cut keep them nice and fresh and it will grow fast and be soft anyway so that's what it does okay so we're gonna put the new collar on him there we go Henry and um, I have to do this with two hands so I have to put my camera down so the little man is now all set you see it's got little reflectors on it and uh, throw away the old one so thank you, Soresto. I don't know who makes this. Advantix, I think. Stewie. No ticks. 
No ticks on my boy. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you down. I'll let you down. Hold on. So now I'm back at the high school again. A couple minutes late because I had to wait, but Dave said he would come. So now I'm going in to watch this band concert. And, uh, yeah. Here, now I can see. This is the band chorus orchestra for 8th grade. And, uh, yeah, so last middle school concert of middle school. Seniors. band concert is over. That was really nice. Fast. Sun's still up.